So most years we look at trying to update the office layout. This year we've introduced a little bit more tech and we've changed locations. So this is the 2019 All Things Tech Office Come Studio Tour. So my friends, this was the room that we started off with and it was quite a basic 12 by 12 room. Now, it was a little bit awkward because there were two large windows on two of the main walls. There was also a storage cupboard and a doorway. But this is what we've managed to achieve and I think it looks pretty good. On the left hand side, I wanted to have a little TV area where I've got my PlayStation and I've got all of my inputs for watching satellite TV. In the middle, I wanted to have my main desk set up with the computer where I do all of my video editing and the other thing I really wanted to achieve was to have a motorized screen put coming down on the other wall. Now, as you can see, that goes right in front of the window, and when it's down, you don't really notice the window there at all. Now, this wasn't really there to watch movies, although I have found since I've completed this, I have watched a number of films here. Um, it was mainly to do with the fact that I review quite a lot of projectors, and it's a great option. I don't have to then go downstairs into the main living area and keep on having to swap over the projector. So this is my main desk setup and again I have not really spent anything at all here. I've got the same Alex drawers and the same plain tabletop from Ikea. I have added these little £1 or $1 lights which when you open the drawer means you get a little bit of light coming in and also aesthetically it looks good if you're filming you've got a little bit of light on those drawers. Now to the side of the desk I've created myself a little charging station. Normally I've been an absolute nightmare by having wires everywhere and I can't find anything that I need so I'm trying to keep it all nice and concise there and on the other side of the desk I've got my Bose sub for my speakers which again I've had for a number of years in fact I think really mainly the projector is the main outlay that I've spent the projector screen that is underneath the desk I've future proofed myself a little bit with a USB-C USB adapter with memory card and as you can see there's the light now I'm still using the same MacBook and believe it or not guys this is a guitar hero microphone i have done a video a number of years ago about different microphones but i'm still using this now let me know in the comments whether you think i need to update and go for something different now guys i don't know whether you noticed that but that is the law if you are having a desk set up you do have to have the ikea plants now I mentioned over on the other side of the room I've got my TV set up and that's including my PlayStation and I've got all of my inputs for my video feed. That's where I will be positioning projectors so I can quickly swap around and get a feed into the projector which is directly opposite that projector screen which makes it brilliant when you're looking at setting up a projector very very quickly. In there as well I've got my Sky, I've got my Nvidia Shield and as I said I've got my PlayStation. But it works brilliantly with the projector setup and it's far far easier than going downstairs and having to change the projector. Oh, this is the other thing that I've got, which is, again, something which I've had for a little while and it still looks brand new. It's my exercise bike, or my wife calls it my coat stand, and I'm hoping that now I've got a little bit more space in my office here, I will use that whilst maybe watching TV. So guys, this is my setup. I'd love to know what your thoughts are. It hasn't really cost me very much. The most expensive thing was the carpet at around £250. The other main expense was that projector screen at at $79.99, but everything else was just about hard work and a tin of paint. I'll leave all of the links to the bits that you can go and get yourself in the description. Most of the furniture is IKEA, and the other things are fairly inexpensive. Thanks, my friends, for watching this video, and I look forward to seeing you on the next.